Dr. Rim El Mutuali, thank you uh, for taking the time to tell us a bit more about your collection. How did your passion for traditional clothes uh, came about? I think um, it, if I was to be truthful, it would be my mother. My mother was a great influence on me. She's a, um, a massive art collector and uh, she has an eye for culture, for heritage. And I grew up in a home that appreciates all of that. How has uh, women's fashion changed in recent years in the modern era? You're talking about the Arab world? Or yeah, the, you're, you're, the Arab world. Uh, it has changed a lot. Um, the Arab world has been going through a lot of changes. So is the world. Uh, and they are very fast. Uh, it has opened up to globalization. Uh, and it has welcomed so many different cultures into it. So they are try uh, we are trying as women to find ourselves within the international and, and global scene. Uh, we are trying to adapt our clothing styles and our fashion uh, to reflect our individuality but to also be functional and adaptable for use within the era that we are living in. So for example, just to illustrate what I'm talking about, in the Arab world you see many women in different areas of the Arab world wearing something called the abaya, which is an outer cloak. It's an outer cloak, it's a public dress that is worn by most women. Uh, in earlier times, it used to be a very big article of clothing that is draped off the head and it covers and engulfs the whole body. This is an article of clothing that cannot be used today because women are driving, women are using computers, they are in office situations. So the dress, this dress format has evolved into a cape form or a jacket form, a longer jacket form, which you see most of the young ladies nowadays wearing. And it shows you how they adapted an article of clothing, a traditional article of clothing, into a more contemporary version of it that is more functional and and suits their needs. And even more, with after the millennium, this black clothing that used to be worn most of the time has changed colors. So now you see many women wearing this format, but in very, very different of colors and textures and textiles. And uh, we have seen many um, traditional, beautiful dresses during the opening ceremony of the Expo 2020 Dubai. Do you think this, was, this will launch uh, a new trend in fashion, in style and renew maybe traditions? Definitely, definitely. I think national pride is very eminent in the was was very eminent within the uh, opening ceremony in uh, for Expo, and yes, the the national dress was represented through the key figure, the protagonist, the young girl that was uh, the attraction of the of the event at the time. Um, definitely, I think every every society <coughs> goes through stages. Uh, of reinterpreting themselves, reinterpreting their culture, their fashion, and readapting it to suit the situation that they are living in. How do you think um, the Zai Initiative can uh, help in women empowerment? The Zai Initiative is a international portal open to the world. It allows the world to come in and view and learn and understand the Arab culture. So by looking th through it, uh, like a window, it opens a window into Arab culture. So even if you are not in the Arab world, you can still reach, reach it through te you know, technical conveniences as we are open to the rest of the world. You can learn and explore the culture of the Arab world, understand its language, understand its cultural language and its stories, its ideas through the dress culture that we are showing in our portal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope I answered yeah. your question. Yeah, yeah.